Hey, this is Ryan from People on Vacation, and you're listening to Morgan Richards on Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. I'm very pleased to say that I'm at the Hit the Deck Festival here in Bristol. I'm joined by none other than Ryan from People on Vacation. Hi. Hey, Ryan. You okay? I'm good. I'm good. Having a good day. Yeah? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. How things? Very good. Uh, We actually just flew here this morning, so we got off the plane, on the bus, drove here, and walked on stage and played the show, and we had a great time. We were a little worried we didn't get to rehearse, but um, we actually have a UK band. We have a bass player and a drummer that are from the UK, and they just, they really killed it. It's cool to have somebody, a couple people that dependable. We can show up and mess up and nobody notices. Okay. Yeah. So, of course, as you just said, you guys are just filming over here for a UK tour with your good friends in Patient Pending. Correct. Uh, Starting off at the Hit the Deck Festival here in Bristol. Yeah. How'd you change your set, man? The set was really good. Um, it's interesting the festival sets because they're always shorter and sometimes you play you know considerably earlier than you're used to so you have to try and tweak the set to where you are during the day and what kind of venue you're playing so I was actually proud of us today we did it you know we didn't try and rock it out we had some slower moments and it was good it worked well it's a lot of fun and of course you and Jared have tried to come over to the UK for a while now with, with the tour with patient pending so I'm sure you guys are very excited to get that off to start as well we are yeah the uh, the hit the deck thing was was a cool kind of surprise because we were really just going to come over and do the tour for a couple of weeks um, but it, it was fun to come here and do this super super excited mm. um, this is a big tour for patent pending and us just because we've both been kind of you know gaining steam mm. people on vacation thing has been really a, a a side side project because of Bowling for Soup and yeah. all they have going on. Yeah. But now that Bowling for Soup is, uh, they're not touring like they used to. We get to do this you know, for real. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's it's really cool. Okay. And since you and Jared got together to, you know, to write songs as friends, obviously since then there are a few projects, all of which have been fan funded mm-hmm. with the Carry On EP and the Christmas album. Mm-hmm. And of course, on top of that, the full length studio album, Summer and the Fall. Mm-hmm. And now you've just been set up another pledge campaign for mm-hmm. a brand new album. Correct. And actually, the, the Summer and the Fall was funded by as we say the man <laughs> so we actually uh, our record label helped us make that record but we had such you know success with um, the Christmas album and some of the other things that we've done yeah. we decided to do a full length with pledge and it's the coolest thing because you basically you take the record label out of the equation yeah and the fans become the record label so to get to interact with them while the record is being made and for them to see in the studio mm-hmm. while we're writing the songs I just love that and I, I try and think about you know what I would have done when I was younger if a band I really liked, you know, let me see the process. Yeah. And I just love that. I, I think it's future of making records and um, couldn't be happier to be doing it, you know, the way that we are. Yeah, because a lot of bands at the moment are using stuff like Pledge.com to release their albums. And you and Jared, from People of Vacation, have uh-huh. done a, a lot with stuff like Pledge and Kickstarter mm-hmm. in the past. And it's just a great way to get the fans really involved in the process of the album. It is. And not only, you know, are you, you selling a new record, you're getting people more excited about the new record mm-hmm. because uh, they're a part of it. Mm-hmm. You know, before it was just they, they you get excited to to hear it and for it to come out now you're actually you know physically financially involved in the making of the album yeah and uh, this album is actually going to be titled the chronicles of tim powers correct uh which of course are on this pledge campaign you've done a very load of uh, exclusive kind mm-hmm. of things to get the album funded mm-hmm. and obviously one of them being to name the album after <laughs> yeah. whoever decided to pledge it uh-huh. um but it's quite lucky for you because it actually is a very good name for an <laughs> thank album. you yeah we got really lucky <laughs> yeah. it could have been awful it could have been yeah. you know somebody with the last name Stepanopoulos or something yeah. Something, you know, and we wouldn't have, wouldn't have had such a cool album title. But the the guy that bought that for his name to be Tim Powers really is the luckiest thing ever. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier about that. Yeah, because it sounds sure. it sounds like kind of like an adventure cartoon. Yeah, kind right. Of thing. Yeah. So we really embraced that too because of his name. It's funny he bought that exclusive to name the album after him, and then that name led to kind of our vision for the artwork and the style, and you know even some of the songs. Yeah. Uh, so we really really lucked out with that one. Okay, uh, and of course on top of that with some more. Play- special things mm-hmm. you guys are doing a couple of things that I've seen that no other band would ever put in their mm-hmm. pledge uh, with the stuff like a signed can of Muller light beer <laughs> yeah. um, love poems prank call to friends uh-huh. and of course a 30 to 60 second songs written about the pledges yeah we uh, we actually tried really hard to come up with some things that were different and fun and um, even silly you know yeah. when it was like well let's drink a beer and how could we you know dedicate a drink to someone <laughs> it's like well let's just let's drink a beer and then we'll personalize the beer can to the person and send it to them. Yeah. And as dumb as that sounds, you know, it's fun. Mm. You know, people seem to 
honestly, I didn't think anyone would buy that. And then we sold out of them. Yeah. You know, so we're going to have to drink yeah. a lot of beer to fulfill those. Yeah. But that's fine. We do that anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, a lot of thought went into those exclusives and doing some fun, different things. And uh, it's been interesting to see which ones people are crazy enough to buy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because, they, you know, those kind of things are quite random that no other band would do. But fans have really just gone nuts for them. <laughs> yeah. <in a> way. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because you find these cool little things that nobody else has. You, know, you, you try, we try really hard to think about, okay, what could we do that no one else is doing? And then we think, well, this is, you know, is this dumb? Should we do this? This is different, but is it dumb? But people seem to love, mm. you know, just the, the fun of it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And with the Flash Camping as well, you'll also be releasing a special cover song EP mm. featuring some tracks by the likes of Pink, Slinger Gomez, Demi Lovato, and of course Slade as well. Yeah. So we started doing the Come On, Feel The Noise cover. Um, man, honestly, I don't even really remember. We were just playing a show and Jarrett just started playing it kind of as a joke and then we were like oh man this could be a lot of fun to do so um, that spontaneous cover turned into well let's try and do a, a cover or two you know a month and just yeah. make, a, make a video mm. just a live thing and the response was so great you know what we should really put these on, a, on an EP mm. record them for real um, add a couple of new songs yeah yeah. it's a quite a good uh, tidbit as well to get with the album with some fun right? covers like that is yeah. awesome I always love it because um, I'm on YouTube a lot so <laughs> to find you know a cool cover that one of your favorite bands does is always special mm. you know what I mean I love mm. that I love to see you know the, the Noel Gallagher's of the world or, or whoever put their spin on whatever a Ryan Adams song or even Ryan Adams covering Oasis <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that cover but I just I love that and uh, the, the response to us adding that to this album has been really cool okay uh, and just a couple more quick things Ryan before sure. you go uh, obviously you're gonna be very busy now with the, with the start of this UK tour uh -huh. uh, and the release of the uh, new album but can we expect anything else from people on vacation in the near future or yeah now that this band has the freedom to, to be a priority for both of mm. us with Falling for Soup like I said not touring and uh, my former band called It Quits a little over a year ago now mm. um, I think this is going to be a, a full time you know real yeah. band okay. if you will and uh, taken a few years for us to kind of figure out what it was going to be but um, I think we're going to release this album and tour here and tour in the states and then just kind of see where that puts us but you know this tour sold out at most of the venues and they got bumped to bigger venues in several cities so I think the audience is there and uh, I think if we do it right, keep having fun, keep making good music, then uh, really the sky's the limit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So maybe we can expect you guys to come back more to the UK soon? I really think so. You know, Jarrett said that um, he wouldn't mind kind of getting on the same-ish schedule as Bowling for Soup, you know, maybe mm. maybe twice a year. But I think POV might be once a year. I think it might just be, you know, one UK tour a year. Um, but if it goes well, then, you know, who knows? BFS used to do a cool thing where they would do an acoustic tour yeah. in April yeah. and then full band tour in October. So maybe we end up doing something like that. Um, we've definitely talked about it, but it's all going to depend on how this album and this tour goes. Okay. But um, so far, really, really good. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you around here more often then. Yeah. I love it here. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm marrying a girl from Newcastle. All right. So okay. met her on tour over here. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be coming back no matter what. Oh, okay. And uh, anyway, that has nothing to do with people <laughs> on vacation. But um, yeah, we're just, we're super, super excited to have the response we've had so far. You know, this band was an afterthought and the response has been so great. Mm. We now get to focus on it and do it full time. Okay. Right. Well, awesome. Uh, well, that's about it. Uh, cheers, okay. Ryan, for doing the interview. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck with the tour now, and hopefully I can catch up with you again very soon. Yeah, cool. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. All right.